Hello friends, I absolutely love autumn, and with each passing day it becomes more beautiful, yet also colder. The days are getting shorter and there is an increasing desire for warmth and coziness. To find this comfort, I turn to my favorite beverage, coffee. I've been planning to buy a coffee maker for several years but somehow never got around to it. But now I've finally decided to make the purchase. In this box I have one of the most popular low-end coffee makers. I'm a big coffee fan and am eager to learn how to prepare my favorite drinks on my own, which requires some knowledge and skills that I don't have right now. As you can see, this espresso machine comes with many interesting tools that I've never used before. In this video, I'm going to make a cappuccino for the first time in my life. Coffee professionals, please forgive my awkwardness and lack of skills in advance. Well, for a first attempt, I expected much worse, but the drink turned out not too bad, though I froth the milk very poorly. Ok, moving on to developing my mobile app for personal finance management. In the last video, I started connecting the front-end to the back-end, specifically the endpoint for registering new users. I didn't have a registration screen before, so last time I created one, but didn't quite finish it. Today I plan to complete it and also do some refactoring. By the way, considering that I have a redesigned UI, I decided to first change the user interface and then continue connecting the endpoints. The new design is not perfect, but it is much better than the mockups I had before. So, let's get started. Just as I sat down to work, I noticed that my mouse had run out of battery, so I had to charge it. The first task for me was to refactor and finish the text input component, which I wanted to use for both the registration and login forms. This input should accept a key for an icon and display it to the left of the placeholder. I noticed that there were imports of images from one directory in a very ugly way, like dot at slash dot at slash dot at slash dot at slash icons message. I don't like that, so I decided to add an alias specifically for these directories by changing the setting in the JavaScript compiler Babel. After that, I noticed that the linter started pointing out type errors, which I couldn't understand for a long time, and my app just wouldn't work. I had to change the code of my form components and update styled components, and finally everything started working. Then, I moved the necessary assets to my project and connected them to the specific text inputs. The next step was to implement the functionality to track the active state for text inputs. That is, when the user selects one input, the text and icon should be highlighted, and all others should have a lower opacity for more clarity. As you know, my main area is Python, so I don't work as quickly with JavaScript. After 
After several unsuccessful attempts, I finally achieved the result and replicated the necessary changes according to the design. With the task completed, I wanted to tidy up the code of the entire component and do some refactoring, specifically to make the internal elements of the text inputs dynamic and pass the state of the main component to them so that their styles would change based on conditions. I thought this was a good idea, but if this approach is not very successful, please let me know in the comments, I would really appreciate it. And then there was another unexpected event. My keyboard also ran out of battery, but even that didn't stop me and I finished refactoring the input component. Next, I experienced one of the silliest fails in the history of this app. I spent about an hour solving one problem. I had one component that looked syntactically correct but contained a series of errors. Neither Google nor ChatGPT helped solve this problem. The issue was that this component contained JSX code, but the file had a TS extension instead of TSX. As soon as I renamed this file, the problem was finally resolved. Although the code worked, I have a feeling that I should move the component with JSX to a separate file, and I'll do this, but a bit later. The last task for today was to add buttons for registration through social networks. I have an already prepared component, so all I had to do was insert the path to the necessary social network icons. So, here's the result of my work for today. It's not much, but step by step, I'm moving forward. Thank you friends for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and see you next time!